I'm Shiva Chaitanya. I work in Netflix for the personalization infrastructure team. I'm a senior software engineer, uh, and we help our machine learning teams uh, uh, accelerate uh, A-B tests. Um, one of the major challenges for us is uh, collecting a lot of data for machine learning. Uh, we have more than 100 million uh, members using Netflix, uh, and uh, there is a lot of uh, user behavior that we want to capture, because really, the more the data that we can feed to our machine learning models, we can learn better about our users. Uh, and organizing all the data in a standard format and feeding into machine learning pipelines, which are both open source and proprietary, is, is a big challenge for us. Uh, with scale, uh, especially with uh, pipelines that are real time, that need that, that need to finish uh, with a pretty strict SLA. Let's say uh, we have a streaming job uh, that needs to uh, work on micro batches of data and need to finish that within 10 minutes. Uh, uh, one of the challenges that we keep facing is because our jobs depend on so many external services. Even if one of them goes down, that tends to back up our processing and it takes a while for us to debug what's going on. And because it's real time, we don't have the luxury to rerun it or backfill the data uh, for once that we didn't process earlier and we need to keep moving on. Um, so informing the right teams, debugging it uh, in a fast manner um, is, is possible, is, is, fa is, uh, is hard for us. And especially when the scale is large, um, the, the problems get compounded. Um, as we keep growing as a company, uh, we just need to make sure that uh, things that we take for granted at a smaller scale continue to work. Uh, and as we onboard a lot more tests, as we collect more data about our users, as the demographics uh, keep changing, we expand to newer countries where the infrastructure may not be the same. Um, so ensuring the status quo for a much larger scale uh, in uh, low bandwidth countries, uh, making sure we collect all the data in a timely manner, uh, all that is going to be a significant challenge for us. Um, machine learning uh, lends itself naturally to functional programming because you take in a lot of data, then you apply uh, vector op operations on, top of, uh, on, on that data. Uh, and you've, you've typically, if you look at TensorFlow frameworks or Spark machine learning li library, which is written in Scala, they take in a bunch of data, uh, apply a lot of transforms uh, using vector algebra and functional programming, lets you think about that more naturally than, say, um, purely imperative way of uh, writing these programs. So uh, we use Scala quite a bit in Netflix for all our machine learning uh, processing. Uh, so my, my favorite part was learning uh, about Scala because I'm a new uh, adopter of Scala. So going especially to the functional track and learning all the new uh, ways of using Scala to meet my needs uh, was eye-opening to me. And I would, you know, uh, if given a chance, I'll keep coming here.